Open Genie. Go to Chromium. Open Terminator. Maximize Window. Control Shift E. Restore Window. Control Shift W. Go to Chromium. Mic on. Mic on. Looks like it's miscalibrated here. Let's try this now. Calibrate mic. Mic on. This is a demonstration of the Blather speech recognition program, period. Messed up one word there. Select all. Cut. Go to Genie. Dear colleagues. Paste. Best wishes. Enter first name. New paragraph. Enter full address. New paragraph. Dear class. Use Firefox instead. What I'm demonstrating here is the use of Blather to uh, enter frequently used bits of text that are stored in text files and the command that I say sends the XV keyboard command and tells it to extract the contents of those text files and type them into the screen there. And I've used a bunch of other commands where I do things like select all that tells it to use the keystroke control A that we all know. And if I say copy, that does control C and so forth. All of these keyboard commands are done with the XV K XV KBD command. Press backspace, go to Chromium, new tab, ULL, press enter. Now, ULL is one of my um, pre-formatted commands. When I say that, it's supposed to type out the full name of the university where I teach. And I have another, when I say address field, it does control L to put it in there in the search, uh, or the address place. Close tab, tab 3, tab 5, tab 4. When I say these various things, it does the keystrokes Alt 3, Alt 5, Alt 4, and so forth. Tab 1, and that takes it back to Speech Recognizer, which I use in conjunction with all of this as a dictation tool, because Blather does not do speech um, dictation. And here are a couple of frequently used bits of text for scripting and maintaining web pages and so forth. Bash header, UTF-8 header, new paragraph, target equals blank. Thank you. I'll be here all day. The using eSpeak is just kind of a fun thing that I like to do to customize the desktop. I have a bunch of responses to the thank you command and I store them in a text file and when I say thank you thank you I'll be here all day. You said that last time. Try something new. Thank you. Glad to help out. When I say thank you it will shuffle all of the commands or, or all of the re possible responses that are in that text file and then bring back only the first one and pipe it through eSpeak. And it has lots of other... Th I, I ask it, what time is it? 8.57 p.m. Thank you. You bet. And then I've got just other fun things like I can ask it what's for breakfast and um, or what's for dinner and I've got several possible things that it could choose from and it will randomly select one and 
speak it to me. What's for breakfast? How about a bowl of oatmeal? Bowl of oatmeal, that sounds pretty good. Thank you. My pleasure. What day is it? Sunday. Thank you. You owe me one. This is the little bladder uh, gooey. And you can see what it thinks you said. Let's see, what else does it do? Oh, I did one <coughs> where my kids were playing Twister and they wanted me to spin the little thing, but the little thing was warped and it kept ending on the same leg and arm and color and stuff every time. And so I wrote a script that will do a virtual Twister spin. And then I wrote a blather command to launch it. Let me see if it works. Spin. Right hand on green. It says right hand on green. Spin. Right foot on yellow. Thank you. You bet. Who's the man? You are John. There we go. I think I've demonstrated just about all that I do. I mean, at least one of each of the types of things I do. Blather really is... Uh, something that's changed everything for me on the Linux desktop. I hardly ever have to boot into Windows anymore. I used to have to to use my dictation program because I've got repetitive stress injuries. But uh, I can do so much with my voice now from all of the highly customized things I've set up with Blather that I really don't need to boot into Windows much at all anymore. It's very, very gratifying. I'd like to thank Jezra for coming up with Blather and the folks at CMU Sphinx for the excellent toolkit that runs in the back end and um, you should try it out it's not the easiest thing to get all the dependencies installed and running but it's not impossible I've done it so far on Arch Linux that's what I'm running here and also on two or three different Crunchbang machines and it works I had to set up a special script to launch it on Crunchbang to find the GStreamer libraries, but um, otherwise it works really, really well. Install it, check it out, configure it, have some fun, be creative. It's an excellent tool. One of those things that makes you love Linux because of the way that you can really make it your own and take control of your machine. <laughs>